Hey there, good morning. Wednesday morning as I begin this, March the 27th, and this is my video diary. Uh, that is what this is feeling like. Um, I filmed a couple of videos, a video and a half, by the time I'm filming this. I'm probably gonna run with the video that I, I filmed that's already uploaded, ready to be made public. I, I just kept second guessing that video because well, it's kind of a boring video, to be honest with you. Hoping this video will be an improvement. And then the, the half of video I was filming yesterday, the other video was from Monday. The half of video I was filming yesterday, using the GoPro, filming in 4K, 24 frames per second, trying to have better low light. And that footage just keeps getting corrupted because my editing software just, it ain't going for the 4K, 24 for some reason, or the GoPro Kodak. Uh, whatever that is but anywho enough tech talk what's going on with you guys hope you guys are having a great week my week is a little all over the place we've done a little work and that's really what it's amounted to is just a little work it's not been a whole hell of a lot going on today we only have one unit to get painted and a fence repair to do tomorrow we've got one unit to paint that'll be Thursday and then Friday we've got three units to paint and then Monday next week is the first of April and as of right this second I've got nothing on the schedule for April I do have a residential job a small residential job to do that's gonna be the first week of April but I'm starting to stress and worry thinking about this new work that we've picked up these new properties that we've picked up and wondering uh, what's going on I'd certainly like to get a schedule from these properties for April and you know it's only Wednesday as I'm filming this I still have the possibility of getting that schedule but I'm also worrying a little bit as well like one property in particular I'm wondering if our pricing is gonna be too high for them and they're gonna just not use us certainly hope that's not the case but I'm, I'm certainly getting a, a feeling that that could be a possibility uh, then we've got all these well I don't want to say all these but we've got a couple of properties way out yonder out Danny's old apartment way and I'm really not, you know, liking the fact that that's so far out there. We're not even an approved vendor for them just yet. I mean, we're working on the insurance stuff right this second. We will be, but I don't know that those properties out there, those handful of properties are gonna be enough to keep us busy and also make it worthwhile going all the way out there. Ironically, today we got to go all the way out there. Uh, that's the one unit that we have going. This is a property and a company that wants us to provide the paint. We have no idea what their paint colors are. We've painted two units for them thus far. One unit we painted completely white because that's what the old owner told us to do. And then the other unit, we just found some paint that was similar to what they were using and use that but there's a lot of headaches that are coming from that particular set of properties and again I'm just wondering is it gonna be worth it you know I'm talking about the fact that we don't have a lot of work the work is super sporadic at this point even after picking up the new properties that we have are these properties gonna keep us and you would imagine that I would take whatever we can get and and that's exactly what we're doing we're going wherever the work is way out yonder for this one apartment to paint today plus do a fence repair pretty far away from that location but i've been doing a lot of of thinking and soul searching in relation to this apartment painting game you know you guys have posed a lot of good valid points in the comment section saying you know these prices should be way higher than what they are and you're absolutely right the problem is these people aren't going to pay those prices but you know continuing to think about that and harp on that i think to myself it's crazy 
that all of these properties want you to carry these insane insurance policies. $3 million umbrella policies, $2 million this and that. You gotta pay for all of this insurance. I'm paying like $1,500 a month in insurance. And then the work that we get at these properties, they don't wanna pay shit for that. And I'm, you know, really beginning to feel and see that this is an absolute no-win situation and I've probably been wasting my time for the last two and a half years doing this. I hate to feel like that because I've busted my ass and bent over backwards for so many properties and so many people, but it's just one headache after another. And forgive me, I know I'm complaining. That's another reason why I haven't really been wanting to film or I haven't been filming you know, it's because I know that if I do film, the only thing that I have to talk about is what's going on on a daily basis with all of this. And it's a lot of complaints. Uh, so yesterday, because that footage is corrupted, I'll share with you guys, we did some woodwork in an apartment. We did some subfloor repairs. There was some broken subfloor in an upstairs unit so we did those repairs those were really easy we did a really small drywall job uh, i don't have any footage of that we painted a handrail at another property you see that i've got two guys painting this damn handrail and we did a door repair i uh, fixed a, a door jam that was all messed up you know, you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't in this. And to be honest, you're more so damned if you do. You want to get a lot of work and you need a lot of work to make this worthwhile. To even think that this could be worthwhile. But with the three month hiatus that we basically had where we didn't have very much work and I'm sitting here trying to work the guys that I do have I'm losing all the time with that. If I've got to put multiple guys in a small unit that already doesn't pay shit, I'm obviously not making any money, but I fear that if I'm not able to work these guys, they're gonna go elsewhere, and some guys have. You know, I just found a brand new guy. He started with me yesterday, and he is the man. Uh, this guy is very competent in painting, very competent in drywall. You know, he's been showing me that just with the first day. And I think to myself, I've been searching for this guy for so long. You know, I finally find a guy that really could be the guy. And, you know, am I going to be able to hold on to this guy? Because at the rate we're going right this second with, you know, sporadic days of busyness no I'm not going to be able to and that sucks you know it sucks waking up feeling like everything that you've worked so hard for is just failing no matter how hard you try to put it into perspective a little more you know we were doing this small drywall repair yesterday at a property and another painter and a, a, a you know a bigger painting company actually showed up to that property trying to sell them on them painting units out there and that was a real eye-opener to me that showed me you know even these bigger companies are slow right now and are out here trying to hunt out more work because they probably don't have a lot of work Painting and repair work is a dime a dozen. There's a million guys who say they can do it and are willing to do it for next to nothing. We haven't been willing to be the cheap guy. And that is a recipe for disaster in the apartment industry. You know, if you're not gonna be the cheap guy, there's somebody else out there who will be. And that sucks. They certainly don't care about quality. They certainly don't care about respectable pricing. 
They just care about the they just care about the lowest price. But what can you do? You either adapt and survive or you die in this. You sink or you swim. And for the longest time now, I have been sinking. Even during times when I thought that I was swimming, I was sinking and I didn't even realize it. Anywho, I, I, I'm certainly hopeful to make this a, a good video for you guys. I'm gonna try to do just that. I forgot some tools at my house so i'm on my way back to my house real quick to grab these tools and then we're gonna get the show on the road and see where today is gonna take us all right good morning just getting up into a unit and this one has clearly been painted look like some military folks were living in here um now they told me that one of the units out here had been painted and one of them hadn't been. I'm gonna assume that this is the one that has been painted. Hey there, filming on my phone right this second. Yep, this one has been painted. You can tell because they painted right over top of nails. Yes, they did. Uh, you get what you pay for. Has it been painted though? I mean, when you're only paying, which, yeah, this one's definitely been painted. There's no doubt in my mind about this. So I'm glad that I'm here because I'm seeing this wall color, and this wall color is unknown to us. We have no idea. Every unit that we see out here is something totally different. Look at the zigzags in the walls right there. Looks like they did some repair work, um, and they didn't paint or something. I have no idea what's going on in here. All right, I gotta go check the other unit because I'm not sure if this one has already been painted and the other one hasn't, or the other one's already been painted and this one hasn't. Did I just say the same thing twice? I kind of feel like I did. All right, uh, let me go look at the other unit real quick. All right, that paint's not gonna work right there. Let me get some light. Look at that. All right. Well, we'll be using our paint. All right, we found the unit that needs to be painted and we're trying to figure out what the wall color is. It looks like a shell white. We've got a color that's very close to shell white. And that's what we're gonna use, so good deal. All right, leaving from way out yonder. Sorry I couldn't film much in the unit that we do have going out there today. Uh, my painters were in there and I didn't wanna be filming around them. But I uh, got my painters over to that unit. There is the unit out there to be painted we were questioning whether or not we would even have one uh the other unit they told me one of the units had been painted already so that's why i was wondering what was going on out there but again we go into the unit we got no idea what the wall color is assuming that it's shell white i've got some similar to shell white paint from another property i had already been told we were gonna have to provide paint for that uh unit out there so let's talk numbers real quick there's some repair work that needs to be done in that unit probably going to charge an additional 150 for that repair work uh paint provided is going to be whoo you know i'm usually charging about 250 a unit for paint and that's not even as high as it probably should be it should be probably around like 280 closer to 300 dollars and then $400 for that unit to get painted. So 400 plus 250, that's 650 plus 150. That's $800 for that two bedroom unit to get done. Uh, a price they're probably not gonna like. Oh my 
God, what is going on, folks? Um, a price they're probably not going to like, but that's the price. Um, also, picked up a bunch of work from one of the newer properties that we have. And honestly, a property that I was really worried about, our pricing was going to be too high from the, uh, for them. But I just got a text message while I was at the other property. And they've got about 10 units for us out there. Some of them are touch-ups. Some of them are full paints. But happy to know that they're still going to use us. That's awesome. And I also got a phone call from another property. We've only done one unit at that property. This would be our second unit. They don't like our pricing out there. But they call us when they've got messed up units. And I, I'm guessing this unit is messed up. They said there's a bunch of drywall repair work to do in it. Uh, they said that there's priming that's needed in the unit. I don't know if the carpet's staying or going. I would assume that the carpet is going. This is a shithole property where people destroy these units. Uh, I want to tell you a story real quick about the first unit that we did over there. And it was probably one of the worst things that I've seen with this apartment painting game. Uh, we go into a unit, it's all messed up, needs a ton of repair work, ton of priming work, floors are jacked up. I asked the lady, I said, hey, is the carpet getting replaced? And she says, no, carpet's staying. I said, well, okay, then you're just going to replace the vinyl in this unit? And she says, no, the, the vinyl's brand new too. I said, ma'am, you might want to come over here and take a look at this unit. Carpet was destroyed, vinyl was destroyed. And in the kitchen, there was a small little coat closet. And the vinyl flooring in that coat closet was completely destroyed. There was dog shit everywhere, all up the door casing, all up the walls. You know, whoever was living in this unit was leaving their dog in this dark, little two by two coat closet all day long. Clearly it was a big dog because you could see how high up the paw prints were with the dog shit. I showed her that and she was like, oh my God, we didn't see this. This was an eviction. She said, these people weren't even in here three months. Everything in this unit was brand new when they moved in here. I said, ma'am, you know, for us to clean and paint this closet is gonna be at least an additional $300 just for the closet alone. She says, no, don't worry about the closet. I'm going to get somebody in here to clean the closet. Don't know who she got in there to clean it. And when we went back the next day to finish up the repair work and to, you know, find out more about the closet, the closet had been cleaned. And then we ended up painting the closet. God only knows who she had go clean that closet and how much they got paid to clean that closet. Probably 20 bucks. But I'm not going to put my painters in a unsanitary, disgusting situation like that was. And even, you know, more importantly, you know, it was really messed up and it really affected me in a, in a messed up way. Thinking about whoever was living in this unit, this piece of shit who was living in this unit, treating this animal the way that they wore. What a horrible life for a dog but we've got another unit to do out there so god only knows what's in store for us when we get there certainly i'll be sharing it with you all right on my way to another property we're gonna go set a fence post in the rain um know plenty about fence posts got my post hole digger and my shovel and my bag of quick crete and my four by four by eight pressure treated post from the landscaping days we were doing a bunch of fence work um, go set this post, go sand and paint a small little drywall repair, and then get out to this other property that I was just talking about. So let's carry on and see how things go. Everything. All right, we're coming into the unit that is supposed to be a mess. You can tell they haven't had their mail in a long time. And... Carpet is going, we found that out. Vinyl is going, we just found that out. They're renovating this unit, so there's nothing in here. This is actually a color change, but the color is very similar to what's on the wall. So, 
there's that. A little bit of repair work to do right there. And a little bit of repair work to do up here. Trying to get that to a spot where we can skim that. Um, vinyl's going in here. I think this is a two bedroom. I'm not honestly sure why they called us over here to do this. This is not even as bad as what I was expecting, but grateful that we get some work. So that's good. I appreciate that. Uh, technically I would call this a three bedroom because it's got this dining room right here, but I don't know if they would go for that. Oh, we do got another little hole in the wall right here too. It's in the kitchen. Looks like somebody kicked into the wall. Uh, we'll just get it with the mud. You ain't got to worry about it right yet. Okay. All right, that's just the utility closet, so nothing going on there. I'm going to start, then you start mixing. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with the closet. Damn. I just noticed that. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this electrical job right here. Holy shit. What we got going on here? When I tell you this place is a shithole, I mean what I'm telling you. See that post right there? That's our fence repair. Uh, there was really not a whole lot we could do with that. Um, this whole section of fence was broken and falling back. And to be honest, this whole damn fence is about to fall over. Uh, that's a six by six. That's a four by four that we put in there. And there was nothing else that we could do with that. We put it on the back side. That way it wouldn't be so much of an eyesore. That's just a wooded area over there. And we concreted that in. And now I got to get ready to cut off the top of that we did that repair earlier we left we went and looked at that unit that um, was somewhat jacked up with a bunch of drywall work needing to be done in it uh, more drywall work was popping up after I had left from there and I decided to come back over here to cut this post off today that way I don't have to come back and do it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm gonna be nowhere near this property it's pretty good that we've picked up more work and even more properties are calling one property in particular I'm not even answering the phone for and they've called me like three times over the course of two weeks um, so I'm, I know that they need a painter over there but I refuse to deal with them because I had a real pissing match with them over a late invoice so much in fact that I was threatening to take them to small claims court over this and they kept jerking me around about it and I, I don't want to I don't want to deal with that property anymore um, once you start playing with the money nah, I ain't got nothing left for you but I'm gonna cut this post off and this is pretty much my day I went to Sharon Williams a little while ago I had to put in a monster paint order, well over $1,000 worth of paint. I don't even want to see what that bill is going to be tomorrow when I got to go pay for it. Paint for two different properties. Tomorrow, we only had one unit that was going tomorrow and then three on Friday, but we've picked up, like I said earlier, about 10 units from one property, um, two units from those properties that are way out yonder. We picked those up today. And we also picked up a prime and paint job and hanging a cabinet uh, at a, another property. So it feels good that the work is coming through for us, but it feels good now. I just wonder how long will it feel good for and you know, at the rate that we're going right this second with the handful of properties that we do have, I question to myself, is it sustainable? Is it sustainable, even if these properties are giving us as much work as they possibly can, would that be enough to keep us going? You gotta keep in mind, at one point we had like 10 properties. We're certainly able to accommodate quite a workload, but when we don't have that workload, then it's nothing but a lose-lose situation for me. Um, you know, trying to take care of my guys the best that I can, trying to keep them working, 
but at what cost? And the cost is not making any money. You know, in a video that I was filming yesterday that obviously I'm not gonna be able to use because the footage is corrupted, I was talking about a question being posed. I was posing a question and that is, can you be successful painting apartments? Can you have an apartment painting business and that business be successful? And what I was saying was that yes, you can, if you're willing to do work for the cheapest possible price and also pay your help the lowest possible price that you can. That's the only way that you can win in this and you're not gonna win doing that neither because you're never gonna find people who are willing to work for the cheapest possible pay. Everybody wants the most these days and in some regards, they're absolutely justified in that. Shit is expensive now. I mean, it ain't, it ain't cheap. The cost of living is, is certainly gone up quite a bit, has certainly gone up quite a bit. I had read comments where people were saying that I need to scale this thing back and me just do all of this work. And I would have no problem doing that whatsoever. The problem with that is you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't. If you're a one-man show, you and a helper, you can only do one or two apartments a day. And that's gonna be hard to maintain because all of these properties, especially all the properties that we have right now, want to be giving us multiple units when they schedule with us. Nobody really wants a one-man band. Uh, matter of fact, one of the properties that we have and one of the properties that we just got, the guy told me there, he was like, do you know that after you came and you know, presented your painting business to us. He said, do you know that I had like eight other painters come in here trying to get work? He said, and I didn't entertain any of them because they were all one man bands and they weren't gonna be able to do but one unit a day, if they could even do one unit a day. You know, so if you are trying to scale it back, it's gonna be hard to stay busy, I, I feel like. You know, you may, say, well, you could schedule things differently. You can put work on for this day and work on for that day. But not only do most of these properties want you to be able to do multiple units in a day, they also want that shit done yesterday. Uh, perfect example, the property we were just at earlier with the drywall work and, you know, I was sharing the story about the, the dog being kept in the closet in the other unit that we did out there. They called me about that unit today knowing full good and well they wanted me to tell them we can be available today to do it or tomorrow uh, and we were available today to do it so so that's good anywho can you be successful in an apartment painting business I'm gonna be honest with you uh, yesterday I said that you could if you are the cheapest and if you pay your guys the cheapest if you can find guys who are willing to work for the cheapest and that's going to be nothing but headaches or if you're a one-man band but then you can only take on so much work and you're not going to be busy all the time there you're certainly not going to be busy all the time the only way that you can even i feel like attempt to be busy all the time is to have a handful of properties where you're able to accommodate their every freaking need whenever they need it but to answer that question today, after thinking about it, after feeling like this is the after business show again this morning, that's the way that I was feeling, uh, I truly feel like you can't be. I thought for two and a half years while I've been doing this business that this thing was successful. Hell, I even went out last year and spent $5,000 or $8,000 on a baseball suite and was giving properties a thousand dollar gift these baseball games would end up being a thousand dollars we had like i can't remember how many games that we had i can't remember how many how many different properties we gifted this baseball suite experience to only to have these properties drop us at one point or another you know forget what you've done for them it's all about who can come in and do it cheaper but you know, I thought for two and a half years this business was successful. 
it took me two and a half years to realize it hasn't been. And I know I get on here and I, I gripe and I complain and I bitch. And I'm sorry for doing that. But while I'm doing that, I'm realizing and wondering to myself, what the hell am I still doing doing this? Why am I still doing this? Because this ain't it, Chief. And sooner or later, uh, this thing is going to come to a head. I, I know that it will. You'll have these little spurts where it feels like it's going well. And, you know, this morning started off a little rocky and then it improved because we picked up some work. But you, you got to be able to maintain that all the time. And over the course of two and a half years, I have not, even during our busiest time, there's been times where we haven't been busy. And any money that I think that I'm making gets washed out when we're not busy. Because I'm trying to keep my guys working. Anywho, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to go cut this post real quick. I'd film it, but I've got like 7% on my battery on my phone. And I don't want to take this camera out there and get sawdust all over it. I'm going to cut this post. I'm going to reflect on my life and wonder what the hell am I doing? And also, what the hell am I going to do? Oh, also, real quick, that hat right there that says boss on it. Uh, no ego. Uh, well, we're, oh, I can't. Anyways, uh, right there it says boss. Um, somebody gave me that. One of, my, one of my painters actually gave me that. It was a gift at Christmas time. I've never worn it, but that was pretty nice. Anyways, hey, thanks for allowing me to share. I hope this was a video you guys enjoyed. And I'm going to look forward to sharing more with you just as soon as I possibly can. So until then... Take care.